Oh dear viewers, I regret to inform you that you have been diagnosed with a condition most grave. Now in the medical community, we know it as shit taste syndrome. But don't worry, I have the cure. Mac and She Critiques has been proven through medical trials again and again to cure filthy degenerates such as yourselves of the compulsive need to expel your weak seed to such literary masterpieces as ReZero, My Hero Academy, and Sword Art Online. Got em! Now you could quite easily go over to those quacks over on obnoxious couples reacts watch four lemmings on a couch or throw Patreon money at some brain-dead co-ed with the scruples of a 15th century bohemian hooker. But why would you sacrifice the last two brain cells you have left to this disorder? Remember, it's Mac and She Critiques, not Mac and She Dick Rides. Your favorite anime. Your grandchildren will thank you for it. This is Dr. Phil, signing out, and long live Mixer. Mackenzie Critiques and Mackenzie Dick Rides your favorite anime. Welcome to a new series of live reactions to Grappler Baki, the 90s um, Baki the Grappler show. I'll be doing two seasons, the full 48 episodes of the original. Not quite sure if I'll do the 2016 one, but with the absence of any JoJo Part 6 announcement, we don't have that big dick energy that JoJo has, but at least this should tide us over to these reactions, hopefully. For those of you who haven't watched it or want to rewatch it, will will tide you over for that big dick <laughs> energy um of some of the classics right the big muscly uh protagonist stuff so um i've been wanting to check this out for ages because i have affection for this genre and i've never seen grap back in the grapple i've heard i heard of it through reputation but i'd never actually you know uh explored it so uh it'd be really fun fun thing join me for these this one is a bit more energetic than the SOL or classic, right? So I thought, let me diversify a little bit. So let's get into this. Baki the Grappler. And I won't be uh, labeling these according to seasons. I'll just be labeling the episode from 1 to 48. So follow it like that. Baki the Grappler, episode 1. Come on. At least once in his life, he'll dream of becoming the strongest man alive. <laughs> Someone's born a male. <laughs> Humans become the strongest in the world. Kind of true. It's actually kind of true. I, I don't know women who who are born women and think I want to be the strongest in the world. <laughs> Look at a thick neck. Look how fucking thick his neck is, man. Take you dive, nageki no ime, no kare nai togi wo shiru. Well, you is a maweki kairo bo samayo. Too fast. With great bang of a tune, fam. Kaori wa karata ni shimikomu. Dude, look at how fucking wedgy he is, fam. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna make up for the. for no JoJo. Project Backy. Give up in changing the world. <laughs> Just gets into a random fight with some fucking suited booted bruh. Give up the revolution. Awesome. Awesome. This is the DVD release. RJ Region 2 DVD release. Awesome. <laughs> Baki Sama. Baki Sama. <laughs> Love it, man. Different time, man. Anime from a different time. 90s to the early 2000s. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> How manly does it feel to gang up on one dude? You know what I mean? Well, where's their pride? Manly pride. Why would one kid walk there? <laughs> With his gra that his grandkids were free. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, exactly. Like hyenas against a lion, fam. Shit, it's a backley that red hair man precedes him. No obnoxious build up to his training. He's just a kid who's good. He wants to be the best. Simple man. Back when conceits used to be so simple and not convoluted. <laughs> <laughs> awesome dude right into it no fucks given <laughs> awesome he went for the strongest looking dude there fam go for the alpha all the betas will fucking run he's, he's not only fucking strong he's smart as well Oh shit. <laughs> you got him in the nuts, fam. Now nah, he's smart. He took down the head honchos. Half of those chumps are ready to split, but the other half aren't sure. Smart. Smart. Animal Kingdom, bitch. Animal Kingdom. <laughs> People gonna look back on this and think maybe Baki was the real bully. <laughs> Dude, the guy don't give a fuck, fam. You come at me once. Exactly. The other ones have to wait in line. <laughs> what are you? Soria. <laughs> it's like Ip Man taking on like 10 guys. Interesting imagery. Bats. Is that how he trained? To punch bats? Oh shit. Dude. If he, has, if he didn't have abs made of steel, he would have been fucking roadkill by now. What does this guy just watch? Bunch of pussies, man. Okay. He's not so OP. <laughs> He's taking his licks, fam. What a way to open the show. <laughs> to brawl, fam. Awesome. Exactly. <laughs> Love it, man. I think now you should stop it. 
Yeah. Oh yo, oh yo, oh yo. <sighs> Fucking dross on my FM. He's, he's, he's fascinating to watch though. So it makes sense that he'd get into the whole tournament scene. He'd put on a good show. <laughs> I love his design. I do love his design. When when I'd heard of Grappler Backy, Backy, I never knew, thought he'd have red hair though. I always pictured him as someone else. Browner skin and black hair for some reason. Dunno. <laughs> Damn, he did a lot of damage, man. Day seven. Who is this guy? Is he like a headhunter? Looking for fucking challenges in, in some tournament. They've been watching him for some time it seems. Thought I was doing them over pretty good. <laughs> Man, back when MCs carried themselves like this. Man, was a little bit of Yusuke. I see a bit of Yusuke in him. From uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Or rather, the other way around. Them fucking lurkers, man. Like a legend, man, at his age. What kind of backstory does he have? He probably doesn't even need one. <laughs> You're dead. Man, living with death threats. <laughs> I mean, they came to a fist fight with fucking Katana's fam. Pussies, man. On his doorstep. He must not live with family then. He must live alone. Yeah. Can't bring his fucking dear old fucking parents into it. Strength invites challenge. That's what it is. I remember that vision quote from Civil War. When you're the strongest, you just naturally invite people. To challenge you. Thirteen years old. He ain't got time for dishes, fam. <laughs> Today would have taken my dad one minute. Damn, those are the flashbacks he's seen. His dad look like a fucking villain, fam. Look like fucking Akuma from Street Fighter. <laughs> awesome.
I love the baggy trousers of the age as well. 80s, 90s. MCs wore the baggy trousers. surprised he can even get through training this guy impulsive and fucking aggressive damn man he's got like bucks behind him fam fuck man where is his dad right now is he another deadbeat showing him dad he fucked off. <laughs> he probably doesn't have his dad's uh, composure. That comes with age. That comes with experience. He's just like, like an angsty teen right now. He's so in a rush. So in a rush. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> I think the training's doing just fine. Look how he tore this fucking place up. He doesn't even know what the what what the the metric is to measure his himself against his dad. At 13, he took out 37. He said his dad could have taken out all of them. That's good enough, man. Why is he so desperate to, to reach his dad, though? I know he admires him, but there's, there's a bit of angst and anger against him. Probably because he left. He thinks his dad won't oh, no, respect him if he doesn't. My boy. That's his mum. What the fuck kind of mum? Interesting this backstory. He comes from privilege, fam. Oh my days. It's all a fucking experiment to these guys. <laughs> so that's who this guy is. He's like a sort of uh, a tail. Oh! <laughs> well, th is this like the running gag that his nuts are gonna be like the target for everything? Damn! Stick that in someone's neck. They're done for, fam. Now I know this guy can fucking fight, fam. Fight dirty, fam. I want to be the strongest grappler in the world. Brain power is the key. What's going on? <laughs> it's every every wedge dude a fucking challenge to him. That's the the strongest gangster. Around. They're trying to pit people against him, bigger, bigger challenges. Damn, man! It's just 
is a business of aggression. What's it gonna take though, like to qualify him for whatever they're grooming him for? They just said, right, the strongest gangster in the world. Do they want him to be the strongest gangster? If you want a bet, they're looking for a guy to pit him against Kaoru. Dinoi Show. Okay, kickboxer, nice. I love the f designs, man. <laughs> Shit. Is that a discipline he knows, kickboxing? Didn't look like it. Bucky knew that. A Muay sorry, not King. Oh yeah, technically. Tchaikovsky, the international welterweight champ. Okay, interesting. That's how I'll get smarter, like fighting different people with different styles and shit that's awesome I'm already getting Ippo vibes from this man probably hugely inspired by this show Ippo was or at least when they were adapting the anime you know taking flourishes from this Kaoru started a vengeance war Tomizawa group Dude, really? <laughs> Whoa! They made it look like a demon, fam. Akuma. The thirteen he was. Are they talking about Karu being 15? Didn't they just say he was 13? Dude, he twisted a coin. Okay, he didn't look like a 15 year old in that fucking flashback. Or maybe that was just like embellished. Because of his fucking reputation. This was the fucking nineties, man. The animation looks nice, man. You feel every blow, fam. <laughs> God, he's <laughs> he takes us joy in people getting fucking mushed to a pulp, fam. <laughs> he wants to flex now. Damn. Okay, he knows. I want to know who trained, trained Baki, or did, was he just naturally gifted? And his, or did his dad train him for a bit and then fucked off? I love that. <laughs> I wonder if he'll get his ass beat a little bit back here. He's too cocky. He's too cocky, man. Like a lot of MCs of his time. Nice. This is to the ED. I love that design. I love the design. That's what always make that face in reactions when something fucking. Big, 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 masculine comes. Fucking love it. Because they all made that face back then. 
even comic book characters. Go look at Joe Mad's fucking old uh, drawings of Wolverine and stuff. But greatness, man. Yeah, he's the afternoon in the winter sun. This Kaoru sounds like a beast, man. Fucking ogre. They're like this guy on screen right now. They put him next to a fucking demon looking guy. It's by reputation. And this good motherfucker coming up looks like Kingpin fam. This see we saw we saw the cross mark in the flashback uh, of Kaoru. This can't be Kaoru, we don't look what well, they're saying when he was fifteen. Because we saw that cross on his face. There's the mum man, Baki's mum. Yeah, damn, what's what's she got to do with all this man? Never seen that. There, there's the dad. The the guy whose shadow he's chasing. Free will. Alright, next one. Okay, we are on Grappler Backy or Backy Backy the Grappler episode two. Let's get into this. Interesting. I wanna know who Kaoru is. I wanna know more about his dad. I wanna know what the fuck is going on with his mum, man. Never seen a shonen mum like this. Backy the Grappler, episode two. Come on. If someone is born a male, at least once in his life he'll dream of becoming the strongest man alive. The martial artist who aims to become the strongest in the world. Love it. Just simple setup. That's all you need to know. And you see some great fights. Great drama. See, these are kind of like Jojo, just like Jojo. You know what you're getting in yourself into watching this. And I say to myself, people say to me, so then, oh, if you're saying this about this show, why, why do you shit on modern stuff? I go, if there's still stuff like this out there still for me to watch and I missed out on it, why would I jump the queue and go to the Demon Slayers and the, you know, uh, Jujutsu, Jujutsu no Kaisers and stuff when I haven't even seen this from? The, it's this community's inability to revisit the past if they revisit the past they wouldn't keep saying we've never seen anything like this before we've never seen anything like some version we've never seen anything we have seen stuff like this before and that's why I'm fucking watching this because I acknowledge that fam you know what I mean fucking retards this community's fucked man your generation's doomed man you're fucking doomed fam This guy with the scar, he must be Ka Kaoru. And they, they were probably talking about when he was 15, you know. But honestly, all these characters look way older than they... Than the ages, so... His mum's a hottie, though. <laughs> Since he's 13, she's in that, that nice prime MILF age for him. F red hair, fiery red temper. Yeah, all animes are these long ass recaps. <laughs> awesome. Let's see how this goes. I hope we get, like, you do want the characters like this to get knocked down a peg or two. You know? Just a little bit, you know? You want to have root for them, you don't want them to be obnoxious pricks, man. Dude, he don't want a sparring fight, man. He wants to egg him on till he turns into a real tussle, fam. This is why I want... I want. There's a difference between experience and desperately wanting victory. <laughs> no, Russians don't back down, fam. Look how happy he made him. Vladimir Zichil 
has anyone turned down a fight? <laughs> the long history of the mass toxic masculinity. <laughs> love it, love it. This is so absent in this day and age. The fem boys and fucking pussy boys, soy boys, fam. Look down on this shit, fam. Why do you think fucking the the MCs of JoJo started to get more feminine over time? He it, he, the fucking mangaka, he had to change with the times because that's what everyone was loving up, fam. Fem boys, fam. Androgynous fucking she males, fam. And my, <laughs> don't call me boy. <laughs> what are you monkey? Of bloody oh, da, 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 I love that sound. <laughs> Here's what you're gonna fucking learn from. At least you can look back on history and say, yeah, my first my first proper fight was against Yuri fam. And Yuri can say that about him. You know what? I fought this guy. He was my f uh, he was the first guy he ever fought. I was sorry, I was the first guy he ever fought. <laughs> Love it. Let's see how much damage Baki can do. only 15 years old yes oh my days so he is actually 15 years old They just have to have the characteristics of a 15 year old then, even if, I don't care if they, like, they don't look 15. My representative here got so bored he started punching the air. Who's this? Bro. Tommy here has been in my influence yesterday. He looks like Tommy Gunn from Rocky. Rocky 4? And his name's Tommy. <laughs> it looks like Tommy Gunn. <laughs> Talking of Tommy Guns, this guy looks like a fucking Italian gangster, fam. Th this... This so this guy is fifteen years old. This motherfucker is fifteen. Wait. Fifteen years old. What? <laughs> this motherfucker is fifteen. Do you think they just chat shit that he's 15 just to get scare everyone? So they underestimate him. They just say he's 15 so they're underestimating. Then they come, they're like, what? <laughs> <coughs> oh my day, my man just ripped the deck of cards. <laughs> See, I love the little things they focus on to show strength. Don't need to f punch a hole through a dude. Gotta twist a coin or fucking. Dude, what chance does Baki have against this motherfucker?
All it takes is one punch. Oh! Oh, fucking no. You can feel every punch, fam. <laughs> Fuck, you know. You're not gonna kill him, is he? Shit. Man, you've already established the strength of this guy in like 20 seconds. See, n now you're rooting for back, even though he's a fucking obnoxious little, little prick. You know, you, you're rooting for him now. <laughs> Look, okay. Dude. <laughs> this is the build up to Dempsey Roll, fam. Dempsey Roll. This is why I want Hajime to put to come back, man. The closest thing to this we'll get. Since 2016's one, people were saying it's fucking shit, so. But I've always achieved victory by my ability to read my enemy. Nice. I wish he's got a little backstory. Love it. Dude, forget Takamura punching bears, fam. Forget Takamura. This is the. St Dude. <laughs> Bloody hell. This is so awesome. <laughs> to today, this would be considered toxic masculinity, but I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. He's remembering the days of fighting those wolves. I love it, man. It reignited. Nice. Yeah, as long as this contributes to back his learning, learning curve, all good, fam, all good. I hate fucking prodigies that just keep winning. That's the one issue I had with Hajime Nepo. He didn't lose enough. The guy literally never lost enough. Here, fucking, he gets gets beaten down. He loses. The character needs to learn humility early. Just wisen, wisen up and smarten up. First, what first? Lost that fucking Ippo had was what a duck day, you know. I'm like, nah, that was way too late. <laughs> nah, he gave him respect, is what he did. Yeah, there. Courtesy, fam. Mutual respect, fam. You see him, he's definitely one of the strongest fighters I've ever seen. Motherfucker looks like fucking 30... 35. What, they say he's too young to be considered a gangster? I'm not gonna lie. Kairi's greatest strength. Fucking. The, back his mum looks like a proper C word fan. Dude, she, she's not wearing nothing under there fam. <laughs> Mother Duban's her own son fight a vicious gangster. Are you kidding? The world would be better. Bloody hell.
multi-trillion. <laughs> Gold digger. <laughs> Battle of Sandfire. He, his second name, uh, she's she's dropped like sorry, back his second name is Ran May or something like that. Why is her second name different? Did she just drop the husband's name or something? I don't know. Oh shit. I'm not here today as a mere child's messenger. See, violence is the only, in a world of aggression, right? Violence is the only language they understand. Fast track lifestyle. This guy's been bred. Bred to be a fucking killing machine. He didn't even have a normal childhood. Where's his friends? Like legit, I'd expect to have been introduced to his friends by now. Guy has no friends. It's like some Ivan Drago shit, man. Maybe they were inspired a little bit by Rocky franchise. I don't know when the manga was created for Grappler, Baki, but I'm sure they were. Many consider him to be the strongest being on the planet. Father the boy you wish to fight. <laughs> See, thank God no one saw this. Thank God no one saw this this fucking loss. That would really tarnish the rep. Because they're building him up to be something, but this shows you that he's not quite there yet. So you're rooting for him. Humility, man. <laughs> this is the sole purpose of his life, man, and he took a he lost and it's like how do you process that man? His only friends are grown ass men. <laughs> They're all his dads. <laughs> they do care about him deep down. They know he's a kid. Mommy dearest. I wonder what the relationship is like. Damn. Damn. Business? Is that some Oedipus complex type shit?
like your father before you. She's got the hot, the dad's gone, but she sees this dad in him. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> the fuck kind of relationship is that? Hot mom kissing son on the lips. He, that is sick. Something like that is sick. out there who are eager to hurt you while others watch it. Yeah, you're the guys that watch. You seem a little bit vulnerable here now. Mm. <laughs> he wants to get in, get in, do that. <laughs> it was egg fried rice. Or was was he, sorry? Was he cooking rice? way more depth to this show from this episode than I thought this show would have legit there's way more stuff I'm intrigued about in this than you know see at least you work towards a, a smaller goal where's he going to the mountains to train like Ryu <laughs> He's gonna come back, master the power of the Hado fam. <laughs> What's the How why does he think this is his own way of, of training? Like where did he learn this? Went to the mountains, do you What's the Mighty wins in a row. The granite fist Julio Cuevas has finally touched down. Awesome. This I'm really loving this show after this episode now. This particular one. Love it. I'm just in love with this show already. <laughs> oh my god. They need to corroborate. Why wow, actually we fucking went down? Soundtrack fucking dope. Awesome. Is that it? Yeah. Dude, like first episode, great setup. This show is like just I'm, lo I'm in love with this show already. Legit. This is exactly what I see, what I want to see more of today, but not quite the way they do it today. Like, don't don't like it's window dressing. All the other characters are window dressing for this one character's development, yeah. But don't give people the illusion of uh, an ensemble cast and then thinking they're all gonna get you know development. This is an older show. It's got an excuse to be the way it is. Modern shows don't have that excuse. God, I love it, man. The magic. This is gonna be great. This is gonna tide me over at least a little while until part six gets announced, man. Really intrigued about his family relationship. What's going on here? Like what's going on? What happened with his dad? Sort of Oedipus sort of shit going on with him and his mum. But then you got these these trusty, you know, detectives and guys that are looking out for him, you know. They know that they can't like you know, he's got no father figures in his life, so they try to stick around, you know. I love it. There's there's de more depth, that, that's what I mean about more depth there than might seem apparent. Damn, his mum's smoking, man. <laughs> good genes, fam. you got good genes. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of the first two episodes, if you've never seen this, or if you're watching again with me. 
This is going to be awesome, man. Awesome. Peace out, guys. Thank you.